Hi guys, okay, so it is Tuesday. I'm like, what am I doing? I was looking for my laptop really quick. I am getting ready to run, go get a coffee, um, because I let our, let me just talk to you. So I let our Nespresso pods run out and I need to order some more. I guess I'm having so much trouble holding this thing without my little tripod, I miss it so much, so I need to get another one. Um, however, I let our Nespresso pods run out. I just really kind of, let me see if I can sit you right here for a second. Okay, it's a little bit tall. Um, let me see on my two toes. <laughs> I let my Nespresso pods run out. I have just kind of fallen off the wagon with the new year. I got sick. I finally got better. We went to Miami. January was gone. It's now February. Life is crazy. So I need to go i'm just gonna go get a starbucks which is at our local farm fresh the closest one to me is at farm fresh um and i might just actually pick up some things i'm trying to decide what i'm gonna make for dinner my last vlog i shared that i was making a couple things so i had rosemary chicken last night and then i really want to make these pork tacos tonight but i think jay's working in charlottesville today so he is where it's he's gonna be working late it's gonna it's like a two hour drive um so he won't be home until late and then I'm just trying to decide. I need to find out if he's gonna eat dinner before he gets home. If so, then I'll just like, make a little something for myself. But I really wanna make the pork tacos, or I think that's what they are. Um, so I need to pick up like one thing for that. And I'm just probably gonna go ahead and get that while I'm at Farm Fresh. I have a call at 11 a.m. with Tiffany, and so I'm gonna go get my coffee, get home for that, eat some lunch. I'm so hungry. I, I'm just like weird. I've gotten to where like I used to have to have breakfast. I never really liked breakfast food, then I loved it. Then I like ate myself out of it. Like I like a breakfast sandwich or something like that. I really want Chick-fil-A right now, but I have got to get off of this Chick-fil-A. Like I just love Chick-fil-A right now. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna run and go get a coffee, come home, eat some lunch, even though it's like, it'll only be like 10 o'clock. Um, and maybe I'll eat a snack. I got these blood oranges. Oh my gosh, you guys, I never, I am not the type of person to pick up a piece of fruit and just eat it. Like I love bananas um, and I love like fruit in things, but I'm just not one to like healthy snack on fruit. Like I want a bag of chips or a string cheese or something like that. Um, but I picked up some blood oranges at Whole Foods because I've had like blood orange soda. I've had blood orange mimosa and I always loved blood orange juice but I had never like maybe I just never looked or was never open to it but just never really seen blood oranges at like Food Lion or Farm Fresh I don't really know that they get those maybe they do I don't know um and so I saw them at Whole Foods the other day and I got some and they are delicious like they're so good so I might eat one of those um I'm gonna go ahead and run because I just talk so much that's why our vlogs are so long Weasel is just looking out the window are you just looking out the window just looking out the window. He's so cute. Mm. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just got a little worm kiss. Um, our neighbor got a puppy, like it's a couple months old now, but Diesel like always sits and waits for it to come outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and run. I need to throw on some shoes. Let me just show you this cardigan. Um, I know I've been talking about Goodnight Macaroon so much because they were kind enough to send me some pieces to try and um, shoot, and I just really actually fell in love with every single thing that they sent me. It's all so beautiful. I have to say this cardigan, so it's like a long cardigan. I'm 5'3", so um, it's a little bit longer on me than probably somebody that was like a little bit taller. However, I love it just the way it is. It's so comfortable, and I have to say out of all of the items, this one is definitely like a classic staple. I love this color. I'll link it below. Um, I'm not sure of the price, but everything is very affordable, and... This one is so soft, like for the price, this should be something that is at like Nordstrom or just like a department store, like it is so soft. Um, I'm not sure what the material is, but I just can't get over how soft it is. Um, so it's perfect for today. I have on um, a black t-shirt from Club Monaco. I feel like I wear this in every vlog, the Levi's that I had on the other day because I'm gonna wear these out. Um, I really just like to I love jeans, but I only have like a few good pairs that I really love. Like I have like five pairs of jeans because I mean, who needs but so many pairs of jeans, but I just <laughs> wear them all the time. So you can find me in jeans, a t-shirt, and a cardigan. And now I've been talking for five minutes, so I gotta go. All right, I'm in the car wash. That's why it's a little dark. I got my coffee. I got a little bit more at the grocery store than I thought I was going to get. And I know they thought that I was like crazy because I kept walking back and forth 
to the produce section because I kept forgetting something and or things multiple things I think I went there once then I went back and then went back again three times so I know they thought I was crazy I hope you can hear me since it's probably loud in here but then I thought I forgot my wallet so I was like freaking out and nobody was like oh what's wrong so they probably just I was just like oh my gosh like where's my wallet but thankfully I brought it that would have been really bad if you like get to the front and you are like completely checked out of a ton of items and then you forgot your wallet so um thankfully that wasn't me I got my coffee I was in the car and I was editing a picture for Instagram well I wasn't editing I had snapped a few pictures of this outfit prior to leaving home sorry I'm trying to get my phone open so I can show you so three six eight I took eight pictures and then I favorited three I think um that's how I like to try to narrow mine down I like to favorite them and then go to my favorites and then see which one I don't know which one I like the best um they're all a little bit different but I was gonna edit them I'm probably gonna run out of time before the car wash ends so I'm not gonna edit them but I figured I would talk really quickly about some of the apps that I use to edit well it just got really dark um so I do use Visco VSCO but I don't pay for it so I just use the free version and um, there's like a ton more settings that you could use if you pay which I am considering um, paying I was trying to see I think I have one more thing to go through um, so I am considering paying sorry that the lighting keeps like getting funky um, I am considering paying to like download some filters or whatever but I just haven't decided which ones I want so I need to do a little bit more research I wish I was really good at like making my Instagram cohesive this is my Instagram not cohesive it's like kind of all over the place we got some blue and pink and gold and um so I use that I also use facetune um I really don't use facetune like a ton I just used it on this one to mostly what I use facetune for is I will like edit out big zits if I have big zits sorry that I'm so distracted this wasn't the best place but mostly I probably edit out outlets the most okay sorry to cut um be cut off let me find the TV remote this Disney channel for diesel is so loud so I never seem to surprise myself but what I was saying about facetune is that I usually use facetune I use a little spot editor to edit out like outlets and things like that that I don't really like in my pictures so I'll edit out um, outlets zits whatever like that is I really don't occasionally I will smooth my skin because it kind of picks up in photos um, really uneven skin um, so I will do that I don't Photoshop my waist or anything like that I honestly don't even know how to um, so that's that but if you those are probably my most like used editing um, things and then occasionally I will use um, Instagram. However, I'm so distracted because I just had to tell you a story So I was talking about how much I love this cardigan, which I do absolutely still love it 100% um, It is a very long so but it's not long I'm just not used to wearing long things So when I got in the car to go to the grocery store I like shut it in the door and I didn't realize it. and then I was like, oh like I opened the door Well, I did realize it. and so I opened the door and I pulled it back in. I just got home only to find that I drove home from farm fresh with my cardigan like hanging out the window but the best part was do you remember where we were just at the car wash so i took my cardigan through the car wash now it's sopping wet at the bottom and i need to go bring it out it should be fine it was just a car wash but you know this is pretty awesome car wash proof cardigan yep that was that's disgusting really great um, so anyways I'm gonna unload my groceries and uh, do some work yeah you haven't been in the vlog at all do you want to no. say anything I've been good at avoiding the vlog the vlog the vlog the vlog okay yeah. so I made I'll link these recipes below I link I made these uh, let's see shredded chicken tacos and I have to say they are like a little bit spicy, but I don't really have a very good heat tolerance. Uh, we have some corn tortillas. We usually, I usually don't buy corn tortillas, but I decided to. And then this Mexican corn dip, really good. Definitely gonna link that recipe below because it's really good. That's just the pan that I made the thing on. And then we have some tomatoes, cilantro, sour cream, cheese. some more cheese. Yeah. <laughs> These are definitely expired, but they're still holding strong. When did they go bad? These one went, I thought you said that they went bad in December sometime. Yeah, December 1st. 
Yeah, yeah. Windows, those went bad in September. <laughs> So, these ones are better, but they're really not that bad. So, no, we're about to eat. Can't, can't yeah, yeah, they, they just get a little hard. And then we have the trusty Corona, and it's good. And you can't have any, because this chicken is too spicy. Too spicy! All right, we're gonna eat now. <laughs> 